When I first started with System.io, I honestly debated going with the platform because I was so unsure of how to create my website in it. Obviously, when you come into your System.io homepage, you can see that there's all these tabs up here and none of them say website. So I was very confused on to how to actually create my website. I was like, do I choose a funnel and just go with that? But actually where your website exists is under blogs. So if you go into blogs, you can see I have two websites here and they're just called blogs within System.io. And that can be really confusing, but you can absolutely create your homepage and your entire website within System.io. My own. So under blogs, I have two websites. The main one that's live right now is my science grad school coach website. So if I click in here, you can see it first goes to post, but where your website's actually going to live is within pages. So you can see one of my pages is my homepage, and this has the URL of just the root URL. So there's nothing after the URL. So whenever you go to my homepage website, you're going to come to this homepage. The way you build out a website within System.io is essentially through template extending. So what initially happens is up here, there's the blog layout, and this is kind of what every page within your blog is going to look like. If you go to post, you get another one here that's post layout. So this is what every post is going to look like for your blog. But this blog layout within pages or within your blog is what's gonna control everything. So if I click on this, you can see that my blog layout is my header and my footer down here. And so every page within my blog is going to have the same header up here and footer down here. If I want a page to not contain this, then I need to go build it in funnels instead, because this is where you build out the first part. Your header and your footer can go here. And if you want anything to like regularly stay somewhere, you can add it in. But and then in the middle here where it says blog content, that's where each of your pages are going to live. And so what essentially happens if I go back to my pages is when I come into so you can see it doesn't show all my pages here. I'm just going to click 25. So there's my home page here. When I go into my home page. Now it brings in this header here, but you see I can't click this. So it's showing me it exists, but if I want to edit anything in this spot, I actually need to go edit that blog layout, not the individual page. And how you build your website is you essentially use drag and drop blocks to build out the entire components of your website. So let's do this from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. I'm going to create a new blog to show you how to do this. So I'm just going to hit create here. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to put test blog because this is a, a blog that I'm testing. And then you can see I have all these different options here. So elenalreister.system.io, that is just the domain that System.io will give you. And then these three, you can see sciencegradschoolcoach.com is a domain that I own, new.sciencegradschoolcoach.com, that's a C name, and then help.sitoolhub.com, that's a C name for another domain that I own. So we're just going to throw this under new.sciencegradschoolcoach.com, and then I can set a URL path for here, and I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And then you can see there's lots of different templates you can choose from. So I'm going to choose one of these templates templates. Let's go with this one. Oh, you can preview it there. And so you can see none of the like actual links will work, but you can preview it. So I'm just going to click select template and hit save. So once that's saved, I can click on test blog and you can see it gives me some like just general post within here. But what I'm really worried about is building my website, not necessarily building my blog. So for example, on my sciencegradschoolcoach.com, I actually don't have a blog visible for people. I just use it as my actual website. And that's perfectly fine to do. There's nothing that you're going to run into issues with with that. What it automatically does is it gives you four pages here. It gives you your home page, which you can see it already sets to that root of the website. There's no path URL after that. Then you have a post list page. This would be where you would direct people to your post or to your blog post specifically. And then there's an about page and a contact page. So if I just copy this URL and go to it, you can see it already comes up with that, what we saw on the preview page. And if I go ahead and click about, it's going to go to the about page. If I hit contact, it goes to that. And if I hit articles, it goes to that because that's what it had already set up. And these are those nine articles that it already pre-populates. 
So without doing anything else with just selecting a template, I've already gotten to this point, but obviously none of this has my specific information in it. So what I can do is edit this. So I can go into my homepage and now I can edit whatever I want in here that's not gonna be in the blog layout. So again, if I wanna edit anything up here, I need to go to the blog layout button. This I'm specifically editing this specific page. So you can see that this is divided into rows here. So your basic structures, you're gonna have a section and you're gonna see that these pop up here every time you go into one and then you have a row and a row sits within a section and this is a row within another row. If you come up to this row, you can actually see that this is two rows and then this is a row within that larger row between the two. And you can see these are all specifically put here. So these here wouldn't update ever. So it's not like this is gonna update to your newest blog post once you publish that. These are very specific ones. So if you wanted something to be dynamic, you would actually have to come in here and update this. Now there are things like the latest blog post, Carol. So I'm gonna come down here and drag and drop that in. And you can see this is actually a carousel that you would be able to go back and forth between your latest blog posts. It would dynamically update. So it would take the time of the last published and whatever your last few published were, it would show here and you wouldn't have to actually update this. Whereas in here, you're actually going to have to update all of these whenever you want it to be different. Then you have, this has popular posts and this has about this blog. So for me, Working with like my website, so I'll show you what my website looks like. So working with my website, this is built on System.io. So I have a hero image here. I have my opt-in here, and then I have kind of different resources that you can watch in here. So you can see my latest YouTube videos. You can see different resources for data analysis, research, design, and collection, things like that. So. If you were to build that within here, I would probably remove all of this. This is really made to be a blog homepage, not necessarily a website. So what I can do is just easily remove all, delete all of these sections out. That's gonna be the quickest way for me to do it. And then you can see I can't touch this. And that's because this is part of that blog layout. So I will get to that at some point. So what we're gonna do is drag and drop. So first I'm gonna drop this section in. So you can see it gives me this here and then I can drop like two columns in and then in two columns, I'm gonna have a headline text and then maybe a paragraph here and then I'm gonna throw an image in here. And you can see this is basically, well, it's opposite, but this is basically what my hero section looks like. And then I can drop down and I'm gonna do, again, I'm gonna add another section in here. I'm gonna add two columns in, and then what I can do is I'm gonna have a headline text, I think I have it over here, and then I'm gonna do a bulleted list. So basically this is gonna be my call to action, what I can do, and then I'm going to do a form input over here. So you build a form input, so if you wanted to have like your, an opt-in on your homepage, you build your form input basically one checkbox at a time. You don't just put in an opt-in form, you actually build it out. So here we're gonna do form input, and in here we're gonna select a type. So this is gonna be an email, and then if I come down, no. and then if I come down, I can put in a button here. And I don't really like the like typical look of these buttons, I always change them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, get the guide. And then we can remove that out. I can change my background color to my color. And then for a butter border, I'm going to do none. I can add a little bit of a shadow and then I'm gonna increase the rounding. So I'm gonna do all of these at 10 to make it a nice rounded. And then I'm just gonna add a heading here so it looks good. I wanna make sure I get it within that row. So I'm gonna just say, tell us where to send the guide. And then here I can say something like, this, this is my awesome guide, right? So there's my opt-in, this is kind of my hero, and I can always like change the background. So if you click the section, you can always come in and change like the background color to be like 
my color and then I'm going to change these blocks. So to change this font color, you're not going to find it over here. You'll find the text background color, but you're not going to find the specific font color. So if you highlight it, you can come up here and change it. And so that's what you're going to have to do. You can on your entire page settings, you can change what you want all of your font color to be like the default font color. But since this is only going to be my hero section and then these I want to keep the same, I'm going to do it that way instead. And so I can like upload an image here or I can go to like my images. So let's just insert that image. So here's my image. Here's all of this. And that's really like a, the basics of it. You can always add in your paragraphs, any of those things, and you can change the style and formatting. If you wanna see like this is a massive difference between this and the section. So if I click the section, you can see that this padding is really high. If I click over here, it allows me to change the padding left, right, top and bottom. So I'm gonna remove all the padding there. And then what you can see is the row is right up against it, but this row has padding between. So I need to go through and move the pad or remove the padding from each of these till I get to the point. So then we're in here. And so now you can see that my image is in line with the bottom of the screen. And that's how you would do that as you go step by step. If you ever have a hard time clicking on something, so if you ever remove, like if you come down here, it can often be a hard time finding this section from the bottom. And if you remove all this padding at the top, it's hard to get this section to come up. But if you ever click on a row, you can always click back through up here. So I can click back to the section to access the section settings instead. So these are all the different types of things that you can do. And there's a lot of different options that you can have in. But I just want to make sure you understand like the general structure for how to create your website. So if I save these changes and I'm going to come out of it and then I'm going to come into this blog layout real quick. So you can see in this blog layout, they have the popular post about this blog, all of this. If I wanted this to be removed, all I have to do is delete that. And now I just have my footer down here and my header up here. And let's say I don't want some of these. So this is a menu here and you can see it has the different menu items. So this is the home and then it's telling you can choose the type. So go to a custom URL or go to a page within your blog. You can have has a new window and you can also have has a sub menu now. So this is actually a new thing. And so that will give it a drop down if you do that. And so I can always delete one of these out. So let's say I haven't done my about section. So I'm just going to delete that out. Now there's not a link to it. No one's really going to know how to find it, even if that website exists there. And I can save these changes. So now if I go back to my site, so this is my site here. If I come back to here and I refresh it, let's go back to the actual site. You can see that it's now here. The about's gone. Here's my main page. Here's my opt-in and then here's my footer there. And that's ultimately how you would build out your specific site within System.io. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.